so Hubby does all the watering. He waters everything. It takes him a couple hours, I think, to water everything. Isn't that pretty? How long does it take you to water everything? Uh, I usually soak it and then come back and hit it again, like about probably an hour and a half or so. Who else in your family used to water flowers? Oh, my dad. My dad loved flowers, especially the uh, yellow marigolds. He liked black and yellow combination, didn't yep. he? Yep, but the yellow is what he really liked, the yellow marigolds. And that's why we have back there the lamb. My mom loved sheep, and my dad loved yellow marigolds. So that's what that's back there for. Tessie will take you back and show you that. Okay. Even, even though the yellow flowers aren't in full bloom right now. That's all right. People understand that. All right, let me go get my plant here. I didn't realize Hubby was standing here. That's why we have him on camera to show us a little bit. Oh, he does? That's heavy, that's soaked. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Yep. All right, goodbye, hubby. See y'all, bye. Now let's go over here. So he was talking about this is what we did last year. And, oh, it's warm out here. Now, the flowers are smaller this year than last year. We couldn't find the exact same kind. And I tried to grow them by seed and it didn't work too good. But this is our memorial for my husband's mother. We have this here for her. She loved, she loved this and his dad liked the marigolds. All right, we're gonna talk a little bit about how you can get plants for real cheap. All right, guess we'll keep on going down. All right, so we'll look here. These are all of my rose bushes. I'm gonna have to start really working on them. And this is the second greenhouse. As you can see, I'm starting to plant everything. All right, let's go down here. This is a flower I wanted for years, but they were just too expensive. I'm gonna share with you a little trick. A little trick how you can get plants for a cheaper price. All right, let's go down to the garden and plant this. So now I'm down in the garden. What you wanna do is you wanna buy perennials because they come up year after year. So you spend money one time and then that's it. But these were $11. $11 is expensive for a perennial, but if you wait to the end of spring, you can get them cheaper. So this one, was not $11. In fact, it was $6 or $7. I think it was $7. So finally, I have my golden yarrow. I love this because it dries beautifully. So we're gonna go ahead and plant this in my perennial garden bed in my garden. My garden is starting to become more of an herbal flower perennial garden. I just absolutely love it because it's not expensive. Once you plant it, you have it for life. Now most of my perennials I grew from seed. So the first year it's seed and then the second year it flowers. If you buy seed, it's so much cheaper. But you can get some really good deals at the garden center if you wait to after the season is over. Perfect. Now we go ahead and fill in with our soil. And I think I have some topsoil in the garage. I'll see if hubby needs that. If not, I'll use that. All right, perfect. Let's go see if hubby needs that topsoil. If he doesn't need it, that'd be great to put some down there. down off the line we'll be sleeping good tonight you always sleep better when you have your laundry out on the line there's nothing quite as refreshing as crawling into bed with clean sheets that were hung on the line 
All right, everybody, I'll take this down. I'll see you when we get down there. All right, let's go put some of this topsoil. Topsoil is heavy, man. Heavy, heavy. Go dump some of this topsoil around it. I'll just help it a little bit. So we're converting this table. This was a product review and it came to us shipped broken. So we're gonna work on this and we're gonna turn this into something for the chickens that they can jump up on. They love roosting and jumping up on things. And what you do is you use what you got. So we got some ply board here and we're gonna mix something really neat for them. They love this. They, we've had a table for the other chickens and that got too old. So we're gonna use this. All right, everyone, now I gotta clean the chicken house up. I gotta take all the shavings out of here so we can put their new little area where they can roost in. They love it, they'll jump up it and have fun. I always pick the most humid day to work outside. It is awful humid, but this chicken house needed cleaned out in the worst way. So we're gonna finish this up, we're almost done, and then I'll have to look on my list and see what else I have to do. So I'll show you here in just a moment, the finished product or project. All right, this will work out good for now. This is an area where they can jump up on and they can roost. Their nesting boxes are below. This works out perfect for the way our chickens are. I know everybody has a different way of doing things, but my chickens love it like this and they like having tables like this. So, all right, everyone, this is done. We can close this up and let the chickens take a look and see if they approve. Now I'm gonna go down and take some more of this paper and put it where my tomatoes are. And that's gonna keep them from drying out this summer. It's heavy, so let's go down to the garden. When you compost, you need brown material, green material. So you do that to keep it from getting stinky and slimy. If you have a smell in your compost bin, that means you don't have enough of brown material. You want to have some of that to balance it out. That's where the shredded paper comes in handy because that's going to help soak up if it's too much moisture. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dump a lot of this back in my compost and then I'm going to put the rest in the compost barrel. And then I'll get that done. That way that is done for this month. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. It may be a little bit of a shorter one, depending on what else I put in the video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy seeing how our homestead is blooming and growing. Every month there's something new on the homestead and it is absolutely gorgeous. And I am so proud of Hubby and I and our hard work to create in here a little bit of heaven on earth, family style. Take care everyone, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Whew. Hey, did you like my video? Maybe you wanna check out some of my other videos and spend the day with me. Thanks for watching.